Hello everyone, and welcome to Slice Print Roleplay. In this episode, I'm going to show you the process for formatting a USB drive so you can use it with your resin printer. Alright, let's get started. So real quick, let's talk about why you would want to upgrade your USB drive. There's two main reasons that I see that you would want to upgrade it. First of all, most of the USB drives that come with these printers are pretty low quality. Um, a lot of times these companies go for no-name brands or they go for the cheapest option from name brands. And while they'll probably work, considering how frustrating it might be to come back to a print, you know, five, six, ten hours later and find that there are major issues with it that were caused from a corrupted file in your flash drive or the flash drive itself going bad. It's just a, a really good idea to upgrade to something that's a bit more stable. The second reason is the physical size of the drives themselves. So a lot of these newer printers like the Mars 2 Pro and the Creality Mono printer, they either have the plug on the front of the unit or very close on the front side. And that, in my mind, poses a pretty serious issue where if you're not paying attention, you set a bottle of resin down or you know, you know something slips out of your hand, you go to catch it, there's a very good chance that you could hit that USB drive and absolutely destroy your USB port. So a pretty easy solution for that is to get one of these. This is a SanDisk Cruiser Fit. It is a 16 gigabyte USB 2.0 drive. It is a very small flash drive that's essentially going to eliminate the issue of you potentially hitting the drive and ruining your USB port. Now, some of you are gonna be wondering why I'm recommending a drive that's only 16 gigabytes and why I'm recommending a drive that's USB 2.0. And that's because I wanted to recommend a drive that would be compatible with all printers, not just some of them. So there are some printers out there that have boards that will work with drives that are bigger than 16 gigabytes and that'll work with drives that are 3.0, but it's not all of them. And to be completely honest with you, the data transfer rate of USB 2.0 is more than fast enough for this application. And same thing goes with the storage. You really don't need more than 16 gigabytes. That's gonna hold a lot of sliced files. So if you're running out of room, you're probably not deleting the old files. And if you're not using them, you really should. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison with the drive that I'm recommending versus the one that came with my Mars 2 Pro. As you can see, there's a big difference. If you are interested in this drive, you can find it linked down below. All right, so formatting your drive is not something you're gonna have to do very often, but it's really good to know how to do it if you have an older drive that you wanna to try to reuse, or if you're having an issue with your drive and you wanna see if you can resolve it by formatting it. First thing you're gonna do is put it into your computer and a window should pop up automatically. But if that window doesn't pop up, you can find it using the folder icon down here, or you can open up any folder and search under this PC for your media drives. First thing you're gonna to need to do is figure out what format your drive is in easiest way to do that is to open it, right click anywhere inside, hit properties, and then you're going to see where it says type USB drive file system FAT32. And then you can see where your free space and use space is. This is a new drive, so it doesn't have anything on it right now. But what you're looking for is FAT32. That is the um, format that most of these 3D printers will use. But let's pretend for a minute that this is not in FAT32 or that this is a drive that you've been using for a while and lately you've been having issues with it and you want to see if reformatting it will resolve those issues. So what you do is go down to the bottom left and type in disk and then you're going to look for create and format hard disk partitions. Click on that and it'll open up this window. So down here is our USB drive. So if this were a used drive, it might have multiple partitions. And what that means is it would look more like my system drive up here. You can see how it's broken up into multiple different sections. And that's definitely not what you want for a 3D printer. So what you would do is go into each one of those individual blocks, right click on it, and go down to where it says delete volume. That's going to delete these individual partitions, these individual blocks, and make it one solid one like my drive is down here. Then you're going to right click on that solid block and go to format. And here's where it's going to give you your options. You can name the drive. You can also choose the type of format you want to do. Again, we want to do FAT32. Leave it on default. Perform a quick format is fine for this, and you're going to hit OK. Then it's going to bring up this warning saying that you're going to lose all the data if you format it. If you've already taken everything off of it, then just hit OK. And now you've got a drive that's formatted, and it's almost ready to go. There's one more thing we have to do. So this next step may or may not be needed for your printer, but it only takes a minute, so I recommend doing it just because it's better to be safe than sorry. So you're going to open up T2Box and slice any file and save it directly onto the USB drive that you just formatted. And that's it. Now you have yourself a flash drive that's formatted and ready to go. Real quick, I want to give a shout out to August McDaniel for helping support the channel. His models are great, and he's always cooking up something cool, so you guys should definitely keep an eye on his Kickstarter page. You can find links to all of his stuff down below. 
So this is a pretty quick video. I made it to address uh, just some of the questions that I've seen on some pages about what to do if your printer doesn't recognize a USB drive. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel and I really appreciate it. If you like what I do here and you want to support me, you can find my Patreon information down below. All right, let's go print something.